<clears throat> hey, just let me give it a few seconds to allow people a chance to come on. And then I'll share a brief word for you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning to you. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for coming on. Hey, everybody. Let me hit some wave buttons. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. Hope you're doing well. Kate, good to see ya. Thanks for coming on. Hey, Renita, nice to see you on here. Cindy Brown, good to see ya. Man, it's been a while. Maria from Sweden, it's great. Thank you so much for coming on. Hey, Anne Marie. Hey, all right, uh, I'm gonna get right, right down to it so I don't take up too much of your time here. Um, but I wanted to share a brief word that the Lord spoke to me this morning and, uh, it's simple, but I, I think it, it has a profound impact on me and I think it, it uh, is going to have a profound impact on you. Uh, the first part of it is that God is building something in you, right? And I can say that not only from, from a word of knowledge or prophetic stance, but just also because I know that God is always working in us. God is always building something within us that has the express purpose and design of taking us from glory to glory. So God is building something in you and it, it, he's building that thing in you for the purpose of, of, uh, of um, advancing his love in you and advancing his love around you. And so I know that and I can say that because I have faith in, in the love of Jesus and, and his words that, that are true, that he is building and constructing that thing inside of you. And I don't know what that is specifically in each one of your situations, but he is building that with the, with the purpose to improve um, who you are who he is in you, who, who you are in him, the knowledge and the awareness of his presence in you, and to, to just bring to fruition um, the, the things that he has planned for you, the seeds that he's planted in you. So he's doing that. He's building you. He's taking you from glory to glory, never towards destruction, never towards um, isolation, but always towards him, always towards his heart and joining with you in that. So the, the word that, the, the other part of the word that I felt like the Lord spoke this morning was to not hijack the plans for that. And I think that the, or the, the vision I got, the image I got was this, this picture of a house that was half built. And I do think that there are many times where the Lord gives us creative freedom. I think that's a part of his heart, that he gives us creative freedom to, to go ahead and, and just fill things and to, to imagine and dream and, and picture and, and plant in these things, that, these, these structures that he's building within the, the confines of that structure to just have the freedom to, to, to dance with him and to be creative with him and to, to pick the colors of the walls and, and to, to pick what hangs on the walls and, and all those kinds of things. But there are, there are structural components to this work that he's building inside of you that he needs to follow specifically. And I think that what happens a lot of times is that we take a look at this work that we feel like God is building for us and it's this half complete work and we look at it and maybe things are delayed a little bit and maybe we get a little impatient of waiting for that complete work to be, to be revealed. And we say, oh, maybe we'll put a wall over, your, maybe we'll put a wall over there. Um, you know, I think that this, I think it needs, a, I think it needs another story. Uh, maybe maybe the door doesn't need to go there. Maybe it needs to go around back. And we start we start changing things from our own impatience, from our own fear, from our own anxiety, from our own ambition. And the end result of that is it looks it ends up looking like something completely different than than the original plan that God had. And not it doesn't have to mean that that you're disqualified or that everything is 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 uh, lost. Right, because God can redeem that and God can bring it back around. And sometimes all we need is a little renovation or a remodeling for that. But I want to encourage you to allow God to complete this structure that he's building inside of you and to not hijack those plans and to not start putting things or start introducing elements that will end up changing the look and the feel of what God is trying to build in you. Be patient, have courage, and because and it, it takes a lot of courage to wait and know that God is working for you and that he is continuing to build that structure for you and that it's going to end up being something so beautiful that you can't comprehend that that by changing the location of the walls or changing some of the structural or, or uh, the structural components of that and making it into what we think 
would be successful or what we think would be beautiful is actually it's robbing it's robbing from the beauty that God has planned for for your life from 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 the the seed that he's planted and so I just want to encourage you to wait to be patient to wait for him to build this structure and you to he's he's continuing to do it he's continuing to to work and the construction is still is ongoing and it's it's a beautiful work and it's going to be so amazing for you and we just we just need to rest we need to rest in his plan. We need to rest in the knowledge of his love for us that gives us the courage and the faith and the ability to trust him. And um, uh, I was reading in, this is still up, was in Galatians. It may have been at the end of Galatians or the beginning of Ephesians. And, and it's, it's a passage that, that um, I may post it in the comments later because it's an important passage. And, and uh, it says, uh, Paul is saying, if you don't trust in Jesus and you can't gain anything from him. And the Lord reminded me of that passage today as, as he's building these, these works inside of each and every one of us. If we don't trust him, then we can't gain anything from him. If we don't trust him, that means that we're trusting in ourselves and what we think is right. And we're trying to gain from ourselves, which you can do to a certain degree, but it won't be the beautiful project that God has planned for us. So uh, many of us are right now, we're, we're looking at a half built or, or a, um, a work under construction in our lives. Um, some of us have actually gone ahead and implemented our own designs into this thing and changed some of the structural components. So to those of us who are looking at this half completed structure, I want to say be patient and have courage and rest in him that he knows what he's doing and that he will complete that work that he started in you. And for those of us who have run ahead a little bit, because I certainly know what that is like and change some of the design elements to to the work that he's he's building inside of you inside of you uh, he can perform the required remodel that needs to happen and it's not a start from scratch sometimes sometimes it is you, you think about the the man who built his house on the sand and that whole thing that whole structure when the storms came it was destroyed it doesn't have to be like that and that's the encouraging part of this we get it wrong all the time and it doesn't mean that we have to go right back to the beginning and start over from scratch if we are willing to listen. There are, for those of us who, who have gotten it wrong and gone ahead and, and changed the work that God is doing in us, uh, there are beautiful elements that have come from that. There is beauty that has come from that because God doesn't turn his back on us and God doesn't walk, walk away when we get it wrong. He continues to bless us and he continue, to the extent possible, he continues to bless us and pour good things into our lives. So in, in many cases, in, in a lot of cases, it's not a start, a start from scratch. Thing. He won't eliminate, he won't just say, okay, I'm wiping the, this slate entirely clean because that would mean getting rid of the beauty that has come along the way from, because God meets us where we're at. You know, God meets us where we're at and he builds from where we're at all with the intent to move us back to his ideal. So for those of us who are in that stage, let's, 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 let's focus on him, shift our eyes to him in his heart and listen to what he is saying, which is often just rest and let me do the remodel um, and be, and be faithful and trust him so that we can gain the, the renovations and the remodel that he needs to do in order to shift the, the path of the work that he's building for our benefit. It's all for our benefit. You know, it's all for our benefit. And then the benefit of others as we, as we pour into the lives of the others around us. So anyway, uh, you guys are awesome. And that's all I got for you. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Have a wonderful Tuesday.